not surprised because people not follow the rules. So I'm not surprised about it. Generally, most of us, the family and friends and outlaw, really think the bars and that should be closed. I think it's necessary, but I don't think people are going to stick to it anyway. I don't think so. And the lockdown, I mean, what's the difference between 10 o'clock and 12 o'clock? I don't see how, see if it, something grows at 10 and 12, I don't see how that's going to make a difference in cases at all. Um, just if, I mean, if people close, then yeah, but then you can go to people's houses and have like an after party and, and it's not known and measure that then. I this think it's a, a good idea in a way with the pubs closing earlier to stop big gatherings of people but I don't think the household thing is really fair because then I can go to work with other people that aren't from my household but then I can't socialise with my friends so that doesn't really make sense. I think they'd be even more worried if what happened to them in other places happened to them here which is full closure. Uh, what we've done is by going uh, to government with a series of asks is try to do this on our terms in a way that we think will support local businesses to continue to operate, but in a safe way. So we're, we've, we've, we've asked for table service only in all bars, pubs and cafes. Uh, and we've asked for a 10 p.m. curfew to stop late night gatherings of people in our city centre and neighbouring town centres. Because we know, sadly, that alcohol and social distancing don't mix well. In fact, after a few drinks, social distancing goes out of the window, and that's where the evidence is telling us the virus is spreading most quickly.